everyone, welcome back to another edition of Camps Chats on the Farm. So I thought I would take a moment this week and just reflect on where we've come from with Coach Camp. You know, this past week marked one year since I started this journey of becoming this motivational type speaker. And um, I was looking back at some of the ex-posts that I'd had right there at the beginning. And, and my first post, of course, stating, you know, could you see me doing this? So I got a good bit of feedback, a lot of encouragement. And uh, it's funny because one of the comments stood out to me and I really enjoyed it. I'm going to share it. So it's Kevin, one of my buddies, Kevin, he put on there. So what you're telling me is the motivational speaker needs motivation. And I thought, absolutely, absolutely. To be a motivational speaker is not something that you just wake up one day and you're like, hey, let me do this. You need some motivation. Metal sharpens metal, baby. And when I thought about it, I was like, how, how, what does this look like to me? You know, what is it? What is my goal? You had to have some set standards, some goals. And so I knew I had to be vulnerable. I knew that I had to be transparent. I knew that whatever it was I stated or said had to be a true philosophy, a true value, something that came from the heart. And a lot of times I was going to speak from my own personal experience and failure. And so far this past year, I feel like for the most part, I have done that. And so I wanted to let everyone out there know that have supported me and followed me along this journey. It has been incredible. You know, I started out by saying if I just helped one person, just one person with anything, then this whole process would have been worth it. And I've got to tell you, I've been incredibly blown away by the, the comments and the conversations that I've had with some of you. And I've been able to speak to a lot of you guys about a number of problems, everything from, you know, PTSD to, uh, you know, suicide and cancer and, and drug addiction, alcohol addiction. There's been so many people that have just kind of opened up and expressed these feelings of, of, um, vulnerability one, but then ultimately just stating how some of the words that I've used, some of the stories that I've given really helped them and it touched them. And I was like, you know what? That was the whole purpose all along. This is not about me. I wanted to do something in my life that was bigger than Chris Camp. And so Coach Camp come along. And the idea behind that was that this would be an organization, that this would be people that could come together, feel comfortable, allow themselves to be vulnerable, and then in the end, hopefully gain some value and move forward as a better person. So for this week, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everybody. The coach camp is growing. You know, persistence is everything. It's easy to give up. There's been so many times I've questioned myself. We all question ourselves. I know that you have too whenever you've pursued anything in your life. But the one thing was I kept going back to why did you start? Why did you start? And that's what I want you to ask yourself. If you've went after anything in life, and it doesn't matter what it is, why did you start? Because when things get tough, that's when you've got to focus on the value of why you started. Why did you start? And every time I go back to that, I think that's why I must continue. That's why I started. And that's why I must continue. And that is because I know that this is making a difference. I know that this is something that is needed, especially in the day that we're living right now. And I'm not going to say today's that much harder than, say, 100 years ago, but positivity is always needed. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. So I want to encourage you to, to follow along, continue to like, continue to share, be a part of the team, be a part of the process. It's easy to give up. It's easy to give in, but it's tough to keep going, especially the longer you go, the harder it is. It's like in a marathon, especially when you don't know if you're making a difference. Refocus, rechannel, go back to the point where why did you start this process? And if that makes sense to you, then you should not give up. You know, there's a there's an, a, a quote that I love. It says, water doesn't cut a hole through the rock because of its power. Water cuts a hole through the rock because of its persistence. You know, so often I think it's easy to give into something don't do that. Keep pursuing your dreams. Keep pursuing your goals. I'm going to ask you guys to continue to encourage me because I need it. Trust me, I do. But I'm not going to give up. We've got big things coming up this next year. Um, I'm working on a website and I've got a, I've got a show coming up in August. And I just hope that you guys continue to tune in, like Coach Camp, be a part of the team. See you guys next week. As always, be good to one another.